uh, I'm off to um, get some crayfish. They're not going to be delivered. I'm actually going to go and pick them up from a place. Um, so I'll get on my way. Wow, I'm at the crayfish place, I think. <laughs> I just got to go out and check out where exactly it is. It's around here somewhere. Okay, right, I've collected the, um, the crayfish. They're in there. Ooh, and they gave me a water tank as well. They didn't want it. It's even got some bulkheads on there. And a, and a valve. Ooh. They didn't want that, so I, they let me have it for free. Cool. Right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is worse than the leech. He's right on, right on the top, look. Little bugger. I do handle him. <laughs> I just jumped him. That made me jump. So he said good luck with keeping them alive because they are hard to keep alive because this is this place pretty much they they uh, deliver them to restaurants and so on um, but these are really little ones any ones that die pretty quickly are I should free freeze them some look dead but will move yeah any ones that die I should freeze them pretty quick maybe keep a few in the fridge like they said but the rest will go in in the tank um, in the garden there's quite a few right better get them home right home sweet home oh. They are freshly trapped this morning, they were telling me. They always are. Because um, then they get shipped off to the old um, restaurants and that. I put that on because I had that one trying to escape. Right. Can't believe I got that as well. It's cool. Right, I better get them in. Right, what I'm going to do first is the best way to keep them alive, to be honest, they said was to keep them in the fridge. So I'm just going to put a few in the fridge in this bowl no water and they said just flush them through every couple of days um, which ones he's big one I want to go for a not so active one <laughs> one stay there Might be easier just to have a glove. They have gloves. Hold on. Right, got me glove. Got me lorry glove. It's a bit oily, but no, no excess oil on it. They make a hell of a noise. Can you hear that? Hell of a noise. Right. Oh, he's a little one. Oh, he's lost. Oh, Chris, you put the thing on. Can you take the lid off? I didn't even put the lid on. He's got a lot of claw missing. Here he is. Oh, he's got a little one. I wonder if they grow back. Oh, oh no, he's still alive. I'm going to put about, maybe about six in there. Oh. <laughs> I felt that through the flipping glove. You stay there. You can go in there then. He was, I went to grab one. And he was another one that grabbed me. I reckon one more. Two more. Uh, one, another one. Oh, that good. Well, any ones that's dead, I'm gonna freeze them. Like, I see ya. Look, look at them. I think he's dead. Might freeze him. 
Oh, Roger's got out. One more. Look at him throw up. It's amazing, isn't it, really? Oi, I'm not even going for you, and you're going for me. Get your tentacles out of the way. I could probably put another one in there. Right, I won't film sorting all these out because it would take me forever. <laughs> but basically, I've got some in the fridge now. Um, I'm going to put the rest in this water tank in here. Um, and any dead ones like that one, I'm going to freeze. Got to get them all sorted now. Oh, I've got to get the water pump set up as well. Right, I've started putting some in here. One of them sort of climbed out. I doubt you can see that. And he's under there. If you can see that. What's he doing down there? Look at Sunny as he get roasted. Right, carry on putting them away. Only one dead so far. I suppose I ought to film one at least of, of putting them in for you guys. Doop. And another one. Ugh. Oh, this is a long job. God, this just took us a while, but that's the last one. Go on in, Chrissy Wheat. Last one. There you go. I feel the underwater camera coming on, but it's very green in here, which is good for them. But I don't know what the vid video is going to be like, but we'll have a little look. Right, it's the evening now, all the crayfish settled in. Um, I didn't, I did do underwater camera, but you can't see anything because it's like pea green water, so, which is fine for them, but you can't see anything on the video. Um, but I got another snail. I think he might have come with the, um, oh, hold on, let's try and do this better this time. I think he came with the um, crayfish. Because he does look like an aquatic snail. I reckon he must have come off one of the crayfish. Another snail. Um, they seem to, they come up to the surface quite a bit actually. I've got one here, look. He's on the weeds. Don't know how well you can see that. Oh, he's gone. He legged it. There's another one there. Just under the water. I don't know if you could actually see him. And the earlier I come out, there was a couple actually on one of these black floating things. So they, they come up to the surface quite a bit. They're definitely enjoying all the, the branches that are dangling off into the water. That's for certain. Here you go. There's one there. Oh, he's still there. I doubt you can see much. It's just under the surface there. Yeah. Right, that's them settled in anyway. Whew. Well, it's later on in the evening again. And his loads come out. They've got very good eyesight. That one's backing up because I shoved the camera down here. They certainly like to come out of the water as well. Yeah. 
crazy. Well there. God, he's climbing. Where does he think he's going? Jeez. Crazy. Cool. 